You are on the most astonishing pass in northern Vietnam. 20 kilometers long, at 1,200 meters altitude. The Ma Pi Leng, one of the four great mountain passes of northern Vietnam. Follow me for a detailed guide around it. I'll show you how to get on it, which way is the best and safest way to do it, when to do it, what to do there, and many other tips. On this trip we travel from Hanoi to Hazang, followed National Road 4C, and on day 5 we left Dong Van very early in the morning to give ourselves enough time to enjoy the pass and stop as we wished. The Mapi Leng Pass is situated right on QL4C, the major road in Hazang province, between the towns of Dong Van and Mel Vac. A road that is also named the Road of Happiness, Dung Hanh Phuc. Here comes the first tip. For riding safely and for convenience for stopping for photos, etc., you should ride on the Mapi Leng Pass from north to south or simply start in Dong Van and go towards Mel Vac instead of the other way around. Let me tell you why when we get on the pass. Traveling from Dong Ban to Mel Vac is a scenic journey through the rugged landscapes of Hazang province in northern Vietnam, more exactly the Dong Ban Karst Plateau. Here's how you can make this trip. Dong Van and Mel Vac are both located in Hazang province. The distance between them is approximately 22 kilometers by road, of which the Mapi Leng Pass makes the most. The meaning of this name in Hmong language is the bridge of the horse's nose, Mapi Leng. It is today more commonly known as Mapi Leng. This approximately 20 km long road was built by tens of thousands of young volunteers from 16 ethnic groups from 8 northern provinces of Vietnam for 6 years between 1959 and 1965. It is called one of the four great mountain passes of northern Vietnam by motorcyclists and others alike. Many travelers prefer to rent a motorbike and do it themselves, or hire a car to drive from Dong Van to Mel Vac. The road between these two towns offers stunning views of karst mountains, terraced fields and ethnic minority villages. The route includes the Mapi Leng Pass, which is famous for its dramatic scenery. You can also hire a motorbike with a driver so that you can be a passenger. If you rent a motorbike, ensure that your vehicle is in good condition, especially if you're new to motorcycling. Check the brakes, tires and lights before starting your journey. Many more tips about that soon. Along the way, you'll pass through or near villages inhabited by ethnic minority groups such as the Hmong, Thai, and Zhao. These villages offer opportunities to experience local culture and traditions and interact with the locals. It is traditional to give money in very cute red envelopes to kids and usually to people who are younger than you in Vietnam around Tet, but the kids here didn't seem to understand why I was gifting them. I guess ethnic groups may have different traditions or maybe their own new year, or perhaps they were just a little shocked because I'm a foreigner. Wait, 
până pe cap și zboară tu să vezi ce drone e. Unde merge eu? Până la Meovac, mă? Unde, unde mergem azi sau ce? Nu stiu ce mă întreb, măsorină. Conectează-te, pe asta zic. Zi! Concentr mai când, clar. Când mergem și unde și pe cât sunt... Trim! Zim! N-ai dat ciocolata aia la coca. Ce mă întreb? Nu mă întreb corect. Ce mă întreb? Unde mergem azi? Unde mergem acum la cafea? Unde mergem acum? 5 km. Ok, crezi că el știe ce dă-l dau. Correct. If you haven't visited it already, you might also consider a detour to Lungku Flag Tower, which is north of Dongban. It marks the northernmost point of Vietnam and offers stunning views of the surrounding countryside. Check this related video about the Dong Van Lung Ku route. If you want to ride from Dong Van to Lung Ku and back and then head south to Meo Vac, this is totally possible within the same day. About 75 kilometers in total. It will take several hours given that the terrain is rough and if you stop for views and or visit the Lungku flag tower. You may also want to visit the Museum of the Road of Happiness, Bao Tang Kong Dung Hang Phuc. There are also several viewpoints along the pass where travelers can stop to admire the scenery and take photos. These viewpoints often have parking areas and sometimes small stalls selling local snacks and refreshments. Also, if you like hiking and time allows you, you can go to the White Cliff, Vaik Da Chang, the Death Cliff, Mong Da Tu Tan. Or to Sun Viewpoint. Ah, boy! Boy, boy, it's here. Here, it's called the Path of Happiness. You know, the Hang Phuc is celebrated this day. But I can also go here. We're going here. So we're going here. 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 I mentioned earlier that I would do the pass from north to south or from Dongvan to Melvac. This way you'll mostly be, especially in its more dangerous sections on the mountain side of the pass, which is much safer. Because as you can see there are often no roadside barriers or they are very low. So if you are on the cliffside and you stop for whatever reason, Someone less experienced might be coming fast from behind, bump into you and knock you off the cliff. Also, if someone in front of you suddenly stops, you may bump into them and knock them off the cliff or you may try to avoid hitting them, may lose control and who knows. People have died on the Mapileng Pass before, while building the current road and also in numerous traffic accidents on both two and four wheels. The Mapileng Pass is not recommended for inexperienced motorbike riders or drivers. If you are not confident in your ability to navigate challenging roads, consider hiring a local guide or joining a tour group that provides experienced drivers. It's easy and many people do it. I'm all about safety, cause nothing is more important than life. If you ride, be aware of potential road hazards such as loose gravel, fallen rocks or debris. 
Stay alert and be prepared to adjust your riding and speed accordingly. The Mapi Leng Pass and its peak is a highlight of the journey between Dongvan and Melvak. It offers breathtaking panoramic views of deep valleys and the Nyokwe River below. There are several viewpoints along the pass where travelers often stop to take photos, but you may as well just choose to stop whatever you like. Make sure you stop at the peak of the Mapi Leng Pass stop. Diem Zeng Chen Ding Del Mapi Leng. Ma, what you from us here? I just put your cafe. Dai frate, tres veces. Breathtaking views of the mountains, valleys, but most importantly, the Nyokwe River. Check the weather forecast before your trip, especially during the rainy season, typically from May to September. Rain can make roads slippery and affect visibility. The best time to visit the Mapi Leng Pass is during drier weather, from October to April, when it is generally clearer and the views are at their best too. Riding on the Mapi Leng Pass when the road is slippery is a dangerous thing as there are, as I said, sections without a roadside barrier and so slipping and sliding off the cliff would mean a sheer drop which would result in... Mapi Leng Pass is one of the most scenic and famous mountain passes in Vietnam. It's a must for travelers seeking to experience the natural beauty and rugged terrain of northern Vietnam. It's a place where the majesty of nature creates an unforgettable journey through Hazan province. The journey from Dongvan to Meovac typically takes around 45 minutes, depending of course on how often you stop to admire the scenery and to drink or eat something. I personally take much longer than one hour since absorbing the nature is the main reason I ride. The Mapi Leng Pass is not only a natural wonder but also holds cultural significance for the local ethnic minority communities. The pass has been traversed for centuries by local villagers and traders. Super 
Traveling from Dongvan to Meovak, whether you're driving or riding, the journey promises unforgettable views and experiences along the way. While the road is in a generally good condition, some sections can be narrow and winding and also damaged by natural elements. The Mapilang Pass is carved along steep cliffs and mountain slopes. It can be challenging to drive, especially during rainy or foggy weather. Everything you see in this video was shot on my trip during TED and although the weather was extremely cold that winter, there were no regrets. Its beauty overshadowed everything. You may seek local advice from guest houses, hotels or tourist information centers in Dongvan or Hazang city. Locals can provide up-to-date information on road conditions, weather forecast and any safety concerns. People around here are very friendly and willing to help. You'll like them. If you enjoy photography, the Mapi Leng Pass offers endless opportunities for capturing stunning landscapes. Be sure to have your camera ready. The contrast between the turquoise waters of the Nyokwe River and the rugged cliffs makes it a favorite spot for photographers and travelers. If you want a boat ride, you need to turn left towards the southern end of the pass onto road 193A, at the end of which there is a boat station. There are several stations, you should ask local people for guidance at your accommodation. I do hope you'll have a chance to enjoy the awesome scenery of the Mapilang Pass soon. And I also hope it will be a memorable journey through Hazang province in general. Do make an effort to subscribe, like or share this video if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, I'm still happy you watched it and I always try to make the next one more captivating. Do comment and let me know what you think I should change and also what other routes in Vietnam you would like to explore. I go everywhere around Vietnam. Take care and have safe, memorable rides.